Hey people, we're here today with the new EPAX 10.1 inch screen, 8K resolution. Uh, so uh, I'll post the effective resolution here, but 8K to size is obviously going to give you pretty good. It's going to be, uh, I haven't checked it yet, so you know more than I do because you've already seen it, but it should be about the same resolution as a, as a 4K small screen printer, which at this size, as we know, that's, you know, 8K is the big, you know, the highest resolution screen we have at this size. So I'm expecting good things from this. It's got the plastic cover. It's thick. It's a little flexible, but it's nice and thick. Doesn't feel like it's going to be susceptible to breaking or cracking. Um, in, the, in the box, we got the build plate, which you can see is very big. So we're going to test this out with some big stuff. It feels... Uh, oh! Check that out. Now this I, I didn't know was coming. It comes with a flex plate built in. Wow. Okay. This is, and I don't know if this is a wham bam or just, you know, the, the same type of flex plate. Oh, that's, in, that's very interesting that it comes with it. Um, the, the top of the plate is, you know, the high grade plastic, which since they used it on a couple of printers and I've had no problems with it all, I am no longer, when I first saw these, maybe like a year ago, this type of plate, I was had like some little fears that maybe it wouldn't be good, but it's been fine. Uh, the only thing that I might not like about this, and we'll see once I'm printing with it, is I feel like when, if you have max amount of resin and this submerges, some resin could get up into here. Maybe this is too tall, it won't, but we'll see. If it gets up in here, I'll be, I won't be that thrilled because that's, that's like a little bit hard to clean in there. So hopefully it won't reach that level, but we'll see what happens. Um, it's a really heavy build plate and, it, and this, this high grade plastic feels extremely solid. Still super interesting that it came with a flex plate built in and you can see I'm so surprised by that. I, I really had no idea that, that it was coming with that. So we'll test that out and see how, how we like that. Oh, I have a wham band that I use on on, God, is it on one of my Sonic Mini 4Ks or is it on another one? I can't remember, but, but it's been good. So, build plate, build plate, the vat. I fat fingered the screw. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to lift it off right now. It is also the same high grade plastic. The screws are attached to the body of the machine, so you just drop it on and then you take these screws and just screw it back in to lock it into place. I can't tell because of this if it has there's no there's no feet on this epax i would like you guys know i would like to see feet on a vat this size i like feet these there's a little lip though and these uh things that go around the screws you can actually use those like handles uh and there's little things in the front you can use like handles so i will i will say this has handles even though they don't really look like handles they have things that function as handles whether that was intentional or not by EPAX, I don't know, but it makes it easier to pick it up and move it. The arm is the same high grade plastic. I don't think it's going to flex at all. Uh, you've got dual axis here, dual, dual rods here. So that should be super stable. I don't feel any movement, but when I print, I will watch that to see if there's any flex between that arm at all and, and the Z axis. So hopefully there won't be. Machine weight, this one's pretty heavy. The, the, so they used the plastic where they could to save money. Here, here, here. But the machine itself, it's interesting. They want to save money by, by uh, making things plastic. You would think the part of the machine would be plastic. This instead is all metal. It's really quite heavy actually, which is good. It's gonna be nice and stable. That, that doesn't worry me. Of course, this is all, uh, all metal except for the very, Oh, that feels like metal too. Actually, I should say the top isn't, but I actually believe that is metal. So that's it. Machine looks built solidly. There is uh, the power on-off switches on the side. The USB is on the side. The actual plug for the power is in the back, right close to the switch, of course. So, it's, but it's in the back, and the switch is on the side. So maybe a little more accessible for people. Touch screen. Ah, I know everyone tries to save money on these screens. I still feel like. On, on these bigger printers, especially, and even the smaller ones. I would like to see bigger screens. It's just easier to use for us if they're bigger. 
and I don't know what the cost, I'm, I'm not into the part, so I don't know what the cost difference is, but I would like to see bigger screens start to make their way onto these printers, just, just for ease of use, quality of life for us. But mach machine feels, you know, really solid, heavy, and like I said, even the plastic build plate is heavy and solid, and like I said, interestingly enough, a flex plate included. Uh, also, of course, there was the standard stuff, the power source, the uh, oh, extra film is always good. Uh, extra tape, this comes uh, three tape for you. I guess you have to change the screen for any reason ever, which hopefully on mono screen printers you don't have to do. I mean, I guess if, it, if you have it for more than a year or two and you're using a lot, then maybe so. But it does come with an extra tape, which is nice, a nice touch. Uh, the USB stick in here. It is a sand disc, so it's it's a branded USB, which is always good as well. So, well, that's about it for uh, for unboxing it and, and just getting my initial impressions. Of course, you guys know the only thing that matters to me is how does it print. So, and also the light source. So we're gonna get the light source test going, which I'll show you here. We'll get the prints, and uh, and then we'll see what my impressions are of the machine. I'll do a short take and then a, a little bit of a longer take. So uh, I'll be back in a second of your time. Hey everyone, I'm back after testing the Epax E10 8K and I'll show you the pictures. I, since I hadn't based this guy, you'll see in the pictures, he's laying kind of three quarters because I couldn't make him stand up even with putting some uh, blue tack under his foot. So I figured I'll just lay him down. Um, but you can see he came out great. Uh, even though it's a multi-part model, uh, because of the big build plate, I was easily able to fit all the pieces on for one print. Uh, when I did it on a smaller printer, it was actually, uh, I believe it was three separate prints. And so now I, I did it once. And the resolution on this 28 microns, pretty good for this huge 10 inch screen. Then I also printed up the uh, Dwarf Lady that I normally test. And unfortunately, you'll see in the pictures, she's a little shiny because uh, for some reason, I didn't, I didn't clean her quite as thoroughly as normally. I don't know why. I don't know if I was excited because the print came off and I wanted to check it out, but she's a little shiny. He's even a little shiny too. I think for some reason that day I wasn't as paying as much attention when I was scrubbing them down. But forgetting my shortcomings there, uh, you can see this for 10.1 inch screen, this thing picks up the detail great. So if you're looking to print a lot of stuff at once, a lot of minis, you want them coming out looking really good, this 10.1 inch screen uh, is more than up to the task. Printer did a really nice job. I also printed up uh, a bunch of goblins. I only took a picture of two of them, but I, I printed up, I think, seven on the plate at once. I could have probably fit about 20, actually, but I just didn't want that many. I've, I've got a lot of prints of these guys already. Uh, I just wanted to put you know the printer through its paces and, and just see how it did, and it did really well. Um, and I'll flash the price. I think the price, you know, it's a little pricey. I think it's, I think it's a thousand bucks, so it is pricey. But again, it's a 10.1 inch screen with an 8K, 10.1 uh, inch, you know, build area with, a, with an 8K screen. So it, 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 it's going to cost something, I guess. Uh, but the results were really good. So uh, I, I have no problem recommending this, this printer. It did a really good job. The only little weird thing, and I'm not sure how it happened, the pig is slightly, I don't know, you, see, you can see in the pictures for sure, for some reason his outside skin uh, down here came out a lot lighter than everything else. I don't know if it was, well, it's only a little bit lighter looking now, but maybe it was the way the flash caught it. Um, and also I did mix a little bit of uh, the Saray Tenacious on uh, Black Onyx, Obsidian Black, sorry, not Onyx, Obsidian Black resin in there. So maybe that was one area. Somehow the, the resin didn't mix in that well or something. It's a little lighter, I mean, it's a little weird, but I don't think it was the printer at all. And the print looks fantastic. Um, in the picture, like look at look how clear the uh, the bear's head on his uh, waist printed out. I think that's really great. And on her, uh, let's go let's go full nerd mode for her. She uh, she came out. Oh, I gotta hit that. I, the the only, my, my only complaint with these glasses, the lens pops out too easily. Um, her bracer, her arm bracer. Hopefully, it came out in the pictures I took. Her the pattern on her arm bracer came out really really clear, which is one of the one of the things I always look for when I print this model, her eyelids also very well defined. You can very clearly see them. Uh, just details are good. And when I, when I look at it against something from the mini 8K, I do see the mini 8K being a little clearer. 
as it should be. It's higher resolution. Um, and it's just a little better. But that's to be expected because the resolution on this one's a tiny little bit worse. But this this did this did really well for a large screen 8K printer. I'm very impressed with what it did. Uh, I looked carefully when it was printing. There was no flex on the on the Z arm. Uh, there was no flex on the, on the piece that attached it or on the arm itself, so that was good. There was no wobble. And uh, the light source. Oh, let's look at the light source right now. Epax uses a parallel light source on all their printers. So I've noticed on all their printers, when I do the light source test, there is a little bit of gridding showing on every light source test, but it's never been enough. There's not enough cold or hot spot on there on that grid to actually affect the print as far as I can see. I haven't had uh, like an area where it fails because it was at a certain point on the grid or whatever. I mean, I think the light is uniform enough that it prints nicely. So uh, whereas gridding used to worry me the first few times I saw it, I've now come to realize unless the gridding is very pronounced, the gridding doesn't really uh, seem to affect the prints. So, and, and all the ones that use parallel light sources, unless they have something to collimate the light uh, or some kind of filter, they're, they're, they're always going to show a tiny little bit of gridding. You just don't want to see too much gridding, extreme gridding, then it's an issue. On this one, uh, when I looked at the light test, didn't seem to be an issue at all to me. And then after printing, I just confirmed what I thought that that little bit of gridding you might see in the light test is not an issue. That's just from using the parallel array. Uh, so yeah, overall, the, the printer did well. I think it's a, it's a good entry. Uh, you have to, I guess, you know, whenever it comes to printers of this size and they cost a decent amount of money, you need to uh, compare with, with other products of a similar nature and then see what's the cost to wherever you are, because I know there's a lot of variable cost between the companies when they're shipping to different countries. So, uh, you know, as to whether to get something like this or a competitor, I say, you know, this one's, this one's fine. You know, I have no issue recommending it, but, you know, always compare the cost, the shipping costs, uh, any taxes you might have to pay and all that stuff before you make a decision. But overall, uh, this printer is very solid, very, very good entry. Uh, that's it for the review. Thanks and happy 3D printing.